beer tubers. Welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Reviews. We got Sith at Sith Manor and we got Fuzz here. We're gonna take a look at a beer that Fuzz brought us for once. He doesn't the bring us Fuzz. a lot of beer. He usually sits us and drinks our beer and complains about it. Shut up! <laughs> That's because we torment him. We torment him with IPAs and We poison. purposely get the best yeah. IPAs we, we do to it. torment There's two reasons man. we do it. Either one, he drinks it so we don't have to. B, and also, we like the reaction he has when he drinks a hoppy we beer and hates it. We the, the, uh, love the reaction. But this time around, this time he's actually Fuzz treating comes, us well. Com but, comes through and sneaks this across two borders to get to you. So this is Flying Monkeys Anti Gravity Logger. So why? <laughs> so you got this on in Ontario, I take it. So I got this in Ontario when I went to um, Justin's uh, Justin, wedding. Justin, Justin and Seth's wedding. wedding. Uh, we were camping at the Marine Land campground and I needed some beer, yeah. so I swing by and I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna try some different lager, because you know, Lager Boy needs different lager. Lager Boy does need different Flying Monkeys. So I picked up on, some Flying Monkeys. Flying Monkeys embarked on the mission to polish our lightest offering by lagering anti gravity for our slower, colder fermentation. Light by any standards, but still at the Flying Monkey standards. Anti gravity is a lager beer. Or a light beer that actually has flavor. Mission accomplished. See, somebody we'll see like me. That. Wow, it's actually a light beer. It's 4% ABV. Somebody like me Buh. just, you know, enjoys the occasional random, strange, craziness beer. Loves the fact that NB Liquor is getting Flying Monkey down. They and are. They're doing the yeah. uh, whole growler thing. So like apparently somebody was telling me we're going to be getting chocolate manifesto here soon. I'm just saying like as your average beer drinker, I have to throw the word out there to and be liquor and say thank you. Cuz yeah. If I wasn't with, you know, hey. other than that little mess in, in August about rail car rail car brewing being a little that, hey, that they, 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 they corrected that, and not only that, we've been treated really well by NB Liquor in the last We year. have, and I mean, phenomenally well. And that's why I have to throw the call out. Thank you, NB Liquor, for you know doing the uh, get the beer crew in. God, it's o'clock. Yep. It's okay. beer o'clock, not beer eleven o'clock. Anyways, anyway, take a sniff of that. Clear golden lager. Well, you know what? It looks like pee in a glass. It, it, you know what? It looks like a light beer. It's it looks, looks like light light, It looks like your standard light lager. It looks like a sample glass. I hear a loon. Yeah. So that email system. Fuck. <laughs> all right. All my all my all my email systems have different duck or have different bird calls. It tastes smells like, like a lager. Smells like a lager. Smells like corn. It's not so much corn, but corn! it's got that vegetable smell. It's got beans. It smells like beans. It smells like... I already have a score for it. So. <laughs> it's, I had a score, not only I had a like, score it, when I was in not Niagara Falls. It smells like it beans, smells but like it's got a sweet like. malt smell to it. Okay? I had, a, I had a score when I was in Niagara Falls drinking this at the Marine Land Park. And yet you I'm brought sorry. Back torture us. I, well, I had an extra one, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to hide this. And so I went from... Canada to the U.S. and then from back the U.S. back to Canada. So you're admitting you smuggled it, or did you declare it? I declared everything. Sweet. I just like to say that me down the hatch. I am the farthest thing from a lager boy. Hmm. Yeah. I would drink that for a light beer. You're right. It's almost got this coffee caramel. Well, very light, but it's got this light. It, 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 it's not like I would call it clean, but it's all it clean. is. It's light enough that you would still enjoy it. It's not finishing dry, oh. but it's light enough that you wouldn't mind. That's right. It's got this really quenching kind of taste. I drank ten of these. There's nothing quenching about that to me. Oh, whatever. as a stint man, Mr. Stout. I drank. I drank ten of these. What up? I would sit there by a campfire drinking ten of these. That's what I did. That's that's not bad. I mean, I won't call it fantastic or anything. No, no, no. It's but not. as far as like a light beer goes, that's one of the better light beers I've had. Uh, hey, listen, I never, I never promised. Yeah, I wouldn't like 
Let's not start calling miracles or anything. I, I never promised the angels dancing on your tongue. <laughs> but Whoever I never you know, said that, eh? You know, I have to admit, <laughs> it's not bad. For a lager, that is a damn good lager. That is a damn good lager for a lager. Yep. But like I said, I already had my score before I even came here. That's before you even came? <laughs> the first time Today. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Sith, what would you give it a first score? You know, normally there is absolutely nothing enjoyable about a lager. Whatever. Because I'm not a lager guy. I know, I am. But I'm going to give that a three because there is nothing disappointing other than, you know, the severe lack of taste, inspiration, flavor, and all that other stuff that every other beer gives. I'm not even... But gonna... I have to say that is a damn good lager, and I will give it a three for lagers. You know what? I'm not even going to... I'm going to rate this based on the fact that it's a light beer... And I used to rate beers on their uh, the, on their accuracy to style as well as what my opinion of. Them. And I'm gonna say that as far as as far as light lagers go, I mean classifying them as light lagers, that is one of the best light lagers. And I used to think that one of my favorite light lagers was Crack Canoe. That's because you're putting light lagers with like Miller Light in. Well, this is better than Miller Miller Light. Piss is better than Miller Light. Perhaps I'm a little <laughs> drunk right now. But I really like this as a mac as a light beer, and you know what? Macro beers can learn from something. Like it, it's not a macro. It's not a macro. No, I know. This is actually a craft beer. Just saying that this is really good for a macro beer or for, for a light beer. Light. Anyways, I would drink that again. I'm gonna have three seven five. In actuality, you have given it a higher score than I would have. What would you give it? Three two five. There you go. Uh, it was a see, decent I, beer. Mm -hmm. uh, I bought it at this El, uh, the well, I don't know what the no uh, I don't know what the Ontario Liquor Commission LCBO. LCBO LCBO. I bought it at the L LCBO in. Where did you buy it? Beer store? No. No. It was LCBO. The LBCO. LB, LCBO. 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 In like just it's like St. Catharines, Ontario. Oh yeah. Right. Um, you know it. it a very serviceable light lager. Enjoyed it immensely when I was there. Yeah. I brought two back with me. I mean, it is definitely a campfire beer. I put one in. I, it, yeah, exactly. Is, and that's what it was. If you consider something like a Son of the Style, would you consider this one of the best uh, light beers you've ever had? Um, and that's why I say that it's a three seven five because, like, if I look at it as a light beer. It's really good, and that's there's nothing a bit of right my wheelhouse. Myself, myself can enjoy. Yeah, but hey, you know, each their own. Yeah, I mean, I don't like. At I'm, least I'm, like I'm the giving. IPAs. I'm being honest. I'm giving you know, a stout man. It's impressive from a stout man's point of view. Point of view. Yeah, yeah. a stout man and a Belgian, because realistically, if you look at me. Anyone that's ever actually followed us has obviously seen that I have a tendency of leaning towards a higher alcohol thing. There's, it's a four point nothing alcohol beer, but it does not compare to. I would rather have a moose line. What? I would. Wow. Moose rattler. <sighs> Do I even uh, know you anymore? I would rather have a moose lime over this. No, mm -hmm. I could see that. But I mean, I still really like it as a light light beer because I consider moose lime a flavored beer. A moose lime is a four percent alcohol beer produced by our local brewery. That is oh, shit. okay. Pardon? You're dragging this on a little long. Yeah, I'm just saying. Like I know you're saying. You're saying a lot about it. I'd rather. I actually haven't said much. I'm saying as a statement, right, I'd rather have right, the right. So your final score is what, three? Yes, my final score. You're a three two five? He's a three two five. You three seven five. Three, seven, five. So yeah, that's what we thought of uh, Flying Monkey Zany Gravity. It was good. Yeah, I liked it. It was good. Yeah. I would drink it. We'll talk to you folks later. Cheers.
Ay, bien, bien, bien.